Hello and welcome to Dishing Delights. My name is Jenica and today I am going to share with you my favorite dinners from this week. To start off with, I made a double cheeseburger for my husband. I prepped some burgers for the freezer and kept a few out for dinner this night. The original plan was just to make single patty burgers, but my husband asked for a double patty last minute, so I made one for him. When I make burgers from fresh meat, I usually take six or eight patties and then I freeze some of them and then save them for another dinner. When it's just two people eating, it's really easy to waste food, so I try my best to plan ahead and little things like taking half of your meat and preparing it for another dinner and sticking it in the freezer instead of putting it in the refrigerator and hoping that you remember to make it again that week really helps save on waste. Now that our burgers are almost cooked through, we are going to add some provolone cheese and cover it until it gets all melted. What I have here is some onion buns. I'm gonna cut one of them up and I'm gonna toss it into the air fryer after I coat it in a little bit of butter and just toast it for two minutes. And now that it is toasted to perfection, I'm gonna add my condiments and then I'm gonna stack my burger. And that is tonight's dinner. I'm telling you that Cajun seasoning on burgers is amazing. And for our next meal, I'm gonna take some chicken leg quarters that I got from the meat market and we're gonna air fry those up with some green beans. The first thing I am going to do is I'm gonna take two of these chicken quarters and I'm gonna put them in a freezer bag for another day. I have a preheated air fryer basket here and I'm going to toss my chicken quarters into it, cook it at 400 degrees for 20 minutes, then I'm going to flip them and cook them for another 10 to 12 minutes. While that's going, I'm going to put this chicken in the freezer. I'm going to write what it is first so I don't annoy myself a few weeks from now. I've done that plenty of times. So I'm gonna take this bag of green beans that has been sitting in my fridge a little too long and I'm gonna cut them up. What is your go-to summer vegetable? Ours is squash, we eat it multiple times a week in the summer, but I need to incorporate more green beans because these are so tasty, especially in the air fryer. Now that these are cut, I am going to wash them, add a little olive oil and Chicago steak seasoning, like always, and then I'm gonna set them aside until the chicken is finished. Now I'm just going to flip these and then put them in for another 10 to 12 minutes. Oh my gosh, yes! Oh, look at that. Whoa, they're falling apart. 
So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna add in my green beans. And then I'm gonna put these in on 370 for eight minutes. Yum. I'm gonna plate some up. This is going to be so delicious. Tonight's dinner is going to be homemade crunch wraps. The first thing that I'm going to do is just take a little bit of an onion and I'm going to cut it up and then I'm going to add this to the cast iron skillet. Then I'm also going to add a little bit of ground beef too and we're just going to cook these together. Next time I make these, I think I'm gonna make them a little more flavorful by adding some jalapenos or like a bell pepper or something. But right here, I'm just gonna take some taco seasoning and I'm just gonna coat that meat mixture. And then once that's finished, I'm just gonna take that off of the range and then I'm going to clean out my cast iron skillet so I can start on the crunch wrap. Right here, I'm going to take my extra large burrito and I'm going to add some meat. And then on top of that meat, I'm gonna take some melted queso cheese and then I'm just gonna to top it with that and then a tostado. Tostado, tostada, one of the two. And then I'm gonna add sour cream right on top of that, a little bit of cheese and lettuce. And then if you want to, you can add another flour, like a smaller flour tortilla on top of this. I just decided to go for it and chose to just fold it as is. My lettuce did get a little soggy because of this, but it was perfectly fine. I get so excited when it's perfectly crispy once I flip it. This just made my day. And that is what's for dinner tonight. Does this not look absolutely delicious? You need to make these. I know I stated this in the last video, but I got these burrito shells from Dollar General, so I highly recommend stopping in there if you can't find them. The next recipe is molasses glazed pork chops. This is a taste of home recipe, so I'll try to find it online and link it below, but these turned out so simple and delicious. These will easily become a quick weeknight staple for us. The first thing we're gonna do is take molasses, brown sugar, and Worcestershire sauce, and I'm gonna add that to a bowl and mix it thoroughly. Once that is mixed through, I'm going to add my pork chops to the mixture and marinate it for one hour up to 24 hours. I prepared this the night before so they had lots of time to get that flavor absorbed. The next thing I did was take some veggies that needed used up and cut them into bite-sized pieces. I had some zucchini that was getting soft and some asparagus that I had a little too close to the back of the fridge and it got a little frozen. I'm working on getting the temp of my new fridge stabilized so I had to get the asparagus eaten up so it wasn't wasted. So now it is the next day and I am going to make tonight's dinner. I am taking these mashed potatoes and putting them in this little mini loaf pan that I had. I bought I think a hundred pack of these a year or more ago and they are so perfect for reheating things in the air fryer. So I'm adding some cheese to these mashed potatoes for a little potato bake and then I'm going to throw my veggies into an oven safe dish and I'm going to cook these at about 350 for 15 to 20 minutes. Thank you. 
Now, I do see people hesitant to put oven safe containers in the air fryer. I honestly don't know if it's okay or not. I've just been doing it for months without any mishap. So you do whatever you want in your own kitchen. So I read in an America's Test Kitchen cookbook, which is basically the kitchen Bible, that if you cut two slits two inches apart along the fat of the pork chop, that it won't curl. And this totally worked. I was so happy with this little experiment. Now that the cast iron pan has heated up, I'm going to add my pork chops and cook them for just a few minutes on each side. Pork cooks really fast, so it will not take that long to cook through. As you can see, they're now cooked through. I'm gonna finish them with a little bit of salt and then I'm going to start plating up my meal. I think this was my favorite meal of the week. Like I said, I'm gonna try to find the recipe and link it below, but this was so delicious. I don't have much for tonight's dinner because the meatloaf was frozen from a previous meal and we used leftover mashed potatoes and then I just cooked some veggies really quickly in the air fryer as the meatloaf cooked tonight. I'm just adding a ketchup and barbecue sauce mixture onto these little mini meatloafs and then I'm gonna add in my veggies with a little bit of olive oil and some Chicago steak seasoning. Like I said before, I always use that for veggies for some reason. And then I'm just gonna put this in the air fryer at 350 for 20 minutes. I already cooked these meatloafs at 350 for 20 minutes before this. I am going to link the video where I made these mini meatloafs below so that you can get the recipe, but these are such a treat to have on hand. And that completes this week's What's For Dinner video. If you like this video and would like to watch more videos like this, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell down below so that you can see more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.